Hey guys, my name is Leith McGinnis, and today we are going to be talking about plating. Many people assume that when you want to plate something, you take the metal you want to plate, say a bumper, and you dip it in chrome, and you pull it out, and voila, it's chrome plated. That's not really how it works. It's more of a water solution, actually, that you dip things in when you do most plating. I didn't know this until recently, but I had a client that came to me and said, you know, can you gold plate these dice that you sell? And I said, I'll look into it. And I found someone in LA who was nice enough to let me document the whole process. So I shot a video of all the steps it takes to gold plate these dice. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. It's pretty interesting. All right. The first step is an electric cleaning bath with a sodium hydroxide based cleaner. Electricity is run through the part and any dirt is forced from the surface by the cleaner and the oxygen gas bubbles that are formed. Next is a water rinse to remove the cleaner and any dirt left behind. Then is a rinse in a hydrochloric acid solution. This removes any dirt and neutralizes the alkaline soapy residue. A water rinse, this rinses off the acid, and into the copper cyanide solution. So this solution does several things. More cleaning action on the part and we're plating a thin layer of copper on the part surface. In just seconds, we can see the new copper surface. two rinses in water. Next is a copper sulfate solution bath. The ions from the copper anodes and the copper sulfate electrolyte are attracted to the negatively charged part surface and begin to plate the part. The solution looks like it's boiling, but they are just air bubbles emitted from the bottom of the tank to evenly disperse the solution. This is known as a drag out rinse. This allows him to recycle some of the copper solution. A rinse in water, make sure everything is an nice acid and rinse to remove any trace of the copper sulfate, and into the water tank to rinse off the acid. Next is nickel plating. So we've created a smooth foundation of copper on the brass surface. It's ready to receive a plating of nickel. This solution is nickel sulfate and nickel chloride. And at this stage in the process, I could just stop here and I have my dice and the nickel plated. So we have a copper plating underneath here and we've got the nickel. And next is the water rinse. So far we've immersed the part in 16 different tanks. All these steps are what is required to prepare the part for gold electroplating. The potassium gold cyanide liquid very quickly allows the gold ions to build up on the part surface. And after just 30 seconds in the solution, it has a gold plating. After the gold plating is three consecutive drag out tanks to recover any of the valuable gold left behind. A final deionized water rinse, a quick splash of air to blow out the water, and into the oven to remove any residual moisture. The conductive wire holding the parts together is then cut apart and the parts are removed. So that's what it takes to take this brass dice and gold plate it. It's quite a few steps, right? Uh, it's quite a bit more work than I expected. And I'm always fascinated by watching these industrial processes. And, you know, they've been refined over, you know, many, many years uh, to figure out the most efficient method. And it's always fascinating to watch. Uh, thanks for watching.